Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So guys, I am here doing um, a random collective reading. Okay, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, all right? Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. And uh, thank you, collective, for all of your kindness, your support, your likes, subscribes, the comments, the shares. Thank you guys so much for everything that you do that helps this channel keep growing. Um, I, I so much appreciate each and every one of you, okay? Thank you so, so much. All right, so the first card that came out here during the shuffle that just kind of plopped out, so I kept it out, is creation, right? I feel like there's this strong sense of you being kind of shown your destiny a little bit here. I This is co-creating with the universe, but they've got this little grin. It's almost like, you know, you're making plans, but God kind of smiles and giggles a little bit, you know. Um, and I, I feel like um, you guys are, are communicating here. Uh, you're using your intuition. You're manifesting. You're, you're talking to spirit. You're telling them that what you want, you know. But I feel like there's something here that's already planned. And they've got a sneaky little grin like, oh, oh, my darling, you have no idea what you have coming for you. You know what I mean? Like all of this, all of this is coming for you, too. These are all your blessings. OK, um, and I feel like it's just it's kind of screaming. It's got that really solid destiny vibe about it. You know what I mean? It's it's a and it's really it's really good. It's going to be, it's very positive and high vibing here. It's almost like you, you know what your destiny is already, but spirit knows you don't really remember. <laughs> um, but they're about to show you. I'm just seeing how they're kind of grinning here at you like, yeah. There's much more in store for you than what, than what you're already dreaming up, okay? is what I feel like. And you've got so much power. Ooh, as soon as that came out, I got the goosebumps. Um, you've got so much power. Um, you know, you're standing here, you've been through this journey, and I feel like you're kind of tired. You're kind of on a little break. Some of you could even be just sort of taking a pause, taking a breather, a rest maybe. Um, others may even be taking a trip or something like that, right? Um, but they know, like, you ain't seen nothing yet. The sun is coming up, yeah, and the stars are much brighter, sure. But they're like, just climb up this ladder because we've got so much more in store for you here. I feel like you can see the sun coming up for you. Things are, you're feeling better. Things are looking brighter. I feel like you're getting, um gifts, you know, uh, that are brightening your day, that are giving you signs that things are getting better. But the divine has this little smile, like there's so much more in store for you. There's so much more. And it's all part of your destiny. And it's part of this journey. You made it this whole way. And now you're like, ah, oh, I made it. You just have to climb up this ladder and trust that it's not going to break. This is about trust here. Trust in the divine. The ladder looks rickety, but it's there for you. And this is your destiny. Now you've got to trust. Now you've got to trust that they have so much more for you than what you know, what you're even planning here. And the power that you have behind your manifesting is... It's crazy, crazy good power, okay? Um, very powerful manifester. But yeah, that, that sly little grin from the divine like, oh, honey. Oh, we've got scrolls and scrolls of what's in your destiny. And it's beautiful, you know? Yeah. You've got to trust that, that that ladder's there for you, though. Trust that the divine will, isn't going to let you fall. The divine's not going to let you fall. You guys are very, you're very powerfully manifesting with them. Okay? Connected. Um, intuitive. 
your intuition is lit and I feel like you're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities and messages here all right what else can you show me for the person watching I mean you're like I'm going to sit here on this box right here and talk to spirit and manifest what I want. <laughs> and you don't even see that there's so much more right here in front of you. Right here in front of you. Yeah. All right, what else can you show me? It's very exciting. It's cute. It's cute to look at. Um, what else can you show me here? Because you're doing great. You are doing so good on your journey, and you really have made it through the worst part you have. And you think you're seeing everything improve in your life, and all of these wishes are coming to you. You can start seeing it. You know, the sun is coming up. You're looking right at it. But you haven't seen it all yet, baby. You just wait. You just wait. Just wait. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Just wait. You're kind of taking a little bit of breather, getting your balance straight, right? Because um, you did make it through a lot. You made it through. This was excruciatingly painful. It was difficult. You, got, you, you put your blood, sweat, and tears in this journey. You did. And you came out the other side beautifully. This has helped with your balance. It's helped with your intuition. You, you made it through all of these hills and valleys and peaks without having any clarity. You couldn't see. All you were doing, all you used was your intuition. You were guided. You've been guided this whole time. That's why I'm like, again, the chills, I'm smiling because I know that this is your destiny. It's your destiny and I feel like you don't really even see it all yet. Okay? Um, yeah, but you're, I feel like you're kind of taking maybe a momentary pause here, a little time of rest, you know? Maybe some of you are on um, like a vacay or something like that or just getting extra sleep. Because you did make it through a lot and you're getting your balance here back you're regaining some power you're nurturing and feeding yourself again okay um, yeah and using your intuition here all right what else can you show me for the person watching Messages for the person watching, please, Divine. Hmm. Maybe everybody's a little bit tired. It's been a very long journey. <laughs> it has. It's been a very long journey. What messages do you have for the Divine, or for the Collective? Divine, what messages? Thank you. Yeah, boundaries. I feel like there's there's people, places, situations in your life that you have set up permanent boundaries with. Permanent boundaries. You've learned a lot through this journey, okay? Each one of these peaks was something you had to climb over. You couldn't miss a peak. You had to get through all this personal work. And in doing that, I feel like you found out a lot of truths about situations and people in your life um, and you're this is you I feel cutting these people out they can't come with you anymore where you're going they can't come with you anymore where you're going and I feel like um, people are realizing that you know I feel like a lot of people a lot of situations kind of had you as sort of a doormat and you were pulled, you were, you made your way out of that. But you had to learn secrets and things about those people and situations. And it's brought you a lot of power. Now your cutoff game is powerful. Now your cutoff game is powerful. And you're taking that leap of faith, right? What did I say about faith? Having the faith and knowing that the divine isn't going to let you fall. That's what you're doing. You're cutting off pretty much, like, 
I don't know. It feels to me like it's almost everybody. You know, all the all the crappy people and situations out of your life for sure. They cannot come back in. They cannot come back in. And this is this is when you take that leap of faith here. You start climbing this ladder. You start getting to your real destiny here. What the divine is kind of smiling about here because you just have no idea how much your life is going to change. It is. You're using your intuition here. You're very balanced. You know what it is that you want and what you don't want. And you're keeping out what you don't want so that you can take a leap of faith and take action right through this part. You're going to jump and leap right through this portal. There. That's your new life. That's your destiny. Okay? All right, give me one more card for the person watching. Yeah, this is about you. This is about your cutoff game, the power of the manifesting power that you've got, the fact that you don't even know all the beautiful things that you have coming for you. I mean, really, you um you're going to be your can your mind's going to be blown at how much your life is about to change. Seriously, your mind is going to be blown by how much your life is going to change. Cuz you think you're manifesting your dreams here, but the divine really truly knows what's for you and your dreams they've already you have a destiny that you're entering into that's going to be amazing and beautiful and calm and gorgeous you just are you're not up here to see it yet but you're about to and you're cutting out the things keeping out the things in your life the things people places situations that could screw it up they can't come along they can't come along and really quite honestly what i'm seeing here i don't see you with anyone else out here except for spirit you haven't been with anyone else out here except for spirit, okay? And that tells me you've been through this journey alone. And you're taking this leap of faith alone. You're protecting yourself in this bubble alone. This is a solo journey. And um, this destiny is written for you. Not, not the people that want to come back in. They're, they, it's not their journey. All right, so what else can you show me here for the person watching? That's too many. Yeah, you're gorgeous. You're blossoming. You're attracting new things to you, okay? Attracting new opportunities to you. Now, as soon as you release and keep these, these things that no longer serve you, keep that out, and take that leap of faith and trust the divine isn't going to let you fall. Um, and put love back into you, right? Always choose you first. Everything kind of blossoms up, including your creative, um, your, your creativity, including um, messages that you receive from the divine. Uh, and you're going to be building a solid foundation here to grow, okay? And it's making... It's attracting new opportunities towards you. It is in love, in money, in personal growth, okay? New doorways open up, abundance. I'm telling you, it's all coming towards you as soon as you take this leap of faith towards your destiny and know that the divine isn't going to let you fall. You got to trust this rickety ladder, right? It's going to lead you to a, a whole new beginning, a whole new beginning where it's warm, not cold anymore. Opportunities being attracted to you, right? You, you'll be collecting things that they'll just come to you like you're a magnet and abundance. You know, everything is coming towards you here. Oh, you don't even know. You don't know half of what um, your destiny is with this little smile. Okay. 
anyway person watching yeah i've got the chills so whoo okay <laughs> i've got the chills this is beautiful um i hope this helps i hope it resonates with you uh if you guys like this video please click that like button right and subscribe to my channel and help me grow okay and until next time collective know that i love you guys this is beautiful i'm gonna leave it right here right here right here is where i'm leaving it this is what you have coming forward towards you. Yes. Anyway, collective, until next time, take care of you and peace out.